back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark, I'm here with Steve, and today we're gonna to have a little gear discussion. I had talked about the Freefly iMovie, not Firefly, <laughs> the Freefly. I said right a few times in there. Anyway, uh, a couple months ago when I was in Buenos Aires, or about a month ago, I'm gonna use it today to give a little B-roll because Steve's gonna be demoing uh, a, a very cool piece of gear here. So why don't you take it away? Right, so I wanna show the iRig and the iPad as like the perfect combination for in the field recording of audio and recording editing of audio. And editing. Okay. Exactly. And I've pretty much transitioned a lot of my work from the MacBook Pro to the iPad. Uh, this iPad thing, Pro specifically. Yeah, iPad Pro specifically, but it's just got so many apps on it that are so productive and I just don't want to travel with my laptop and having the iPad with these apps plus a, a device like this, which I'll talk about, it, it just makes it really great. Great. So let's check it out. Okay. So first thing I want to talk about is this little device called the iRig. Now this iRig is from a company called IK, and it's basically an A to D converter. And you plug in your microphone here, professional quality microphone, let's say an XLR. So you can see a little XLR connector from my mic. Go ahead and plug that in there. But it could also take a uh, quarter inch. It can also take quarter okay. inch, that's right. Uh, you have a pot or a volume control dial. I like to call it a pot, it's kind of weird. It's kind of old school, yeah. right? And on the side, you have a switch for turning on phantom power, where some mics require phantom power, and you also have MIDI ins and outs. I haven't used those, but there they are if you need them. Uh, you have a couple of lights here. This is your recording light. It shows you where your volume level is. Green is good, orange is scary, red is you've clipped. Bad. Right. <laughs> and then that light will tell you when phantom power is on. It's red when it's on. Okay. okay. There's an additional option on the side for headphones. and. and What's important to know about that is if you're using the iRig with an iPhone, there's no way to monitor your audio because you're using the lightning connector to, to connect the iRig. And that's the only connection you've got on iPhone 7 or later. That's right. right. Now, just so happens on my iPad, I do have an eighth inch out, so I could yeah. monitor using that, but that's really for those Very good to have. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so pretty much ready to go. I'm going to plug this in and start recording using my app. Let's do it. All right. Okay, so the iRig's plugged in. Notice that I've got a, a green light. I've got my microphone is hot and I'm the green light. Whenever I'm talking, it's green. I'll stop talking and it's in standby. Now I'm talking. Okay. <laughs> when I shout, hey, you can, you can see it turns orange or you're in warning level, but it's a nice little visual there. Okay, now what we're going to do is set up the app and I'm using Twisted Wave. Do you remember those old days, way back when, Soundtrack Pro? I always loved Soundtrack Pro. This is the closest thing to Soundtrack Pro, but it's on the iPad. It's nice. just fantastic. So I'm gonna set up a document by tapping this little arrow up here, and plus, and I'm gonna go with a mono recording, 48 kilohertz, and we're ready to go. I could name the document, but we'll do, do that at the end. What you're gonna wanna do is tap record to check your record level. Unfortunately, there's no way to check the record level before you before record. Recording. You have to record, do a little sample, check the level, see if it's okay, and then go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Tap, and testing, one, two. I'm doing a test, one, two, stop. And uh, there it is, and maybe it's a little low, I can go back and I can, I can adjust the volume, but I'm gonna just go with that for now, okay? And I'll get into the editing features a little bit later, but um, I'm gonna leave that recording for now and I'm just gonna record something, um, let's say maybe a script or an intro to something. Like I said, I have my mic here, so I'm gonna go ahead and, okay. Welcome to MacBreak, uh, welcome to MacBreak Studio, the Prescott Edition. I'm here at my home with Mark Spencer, holding the Freefly Movi. I'll stop that. And so, we're ready to go. I've got uh, my input through the iRig, and it's all been recorded into the Twisted Wave software. <laughs> in terms of navigating, you have your typical pinch, you know, drag to pinch, you can zoom into the waveform, you can really get right down to the, you know, sample zoom level. sample, you can get right down there to the sample level. Um, tapping, different places will move the playhead. I'm gonna go ahead and play this, but actually before I play this, uh, I can't hear it because it's plugged into the iRig, the iRig. Yeah. so I'm gonna go ahead and Disconnect. Disconnect that. Other, yeah. Otherwise, you could put in connect oh. headphones, but then we couldn't hear then it. Then you couldn't hear yeah. it, right. So okay. let's hear this. Welcome to Mac Breaks. In fact, let me um, bring up the volume here. Let's see how this is. Welcome to Mac Breaks. Uh, welcome to Mac Breaks Studio. Okay, so there's a false take. So I'm going to tap and just drag 
straight across. It's all junk there. Now I can delete all of that by tapping this little X here and play. Welcome to MacBreak Studio. The okay, now I notice there's a little bit of noise at the beginning, so I'm gonna just get rid of this here. Let me get rid of that. So just quickly swipe and tap the X yeah. key to get rid yeah. of stuff. Yeah, now you may not want to get rid of stuff. You may want to just silence stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and make a selection. You can see there's a little bit of noise yeah. right there. I'm going to tap this little gear here, and there's a silence tap, and now it's completely okay, silent. Okay, so it doesn't do like a ripple delete. It kind no. of does like a lift. You, right, not only can you uh, add, not only can you make something silent, but you can also insert silence. So for example, I for whatever reason, I wanted to create some timing space there. Right. Tap here and you can say, insert silence. And you can say like, I want six seconds or four seconds or what have you, three seconds apply. So I've just inserted three seconds of silence Got between it. that and that. You also have an undo, this little tap Hopefully, there, yeah. undo there, and I've yep. undone, undone that. And let's play this and see what it sounds like. Testing, one, two, I'm doing a test, one, two. Welcome to Mac. Break. Okay, so I wanna get rid of that. One, two, welcome to Mac. So welcome to Mac break. Tap right there, swipe across, delete. Welcome to MacBreak Studio, the Prescott edition. I'm here at my home with Mark Spencer holding. Okay, I'm here, let's wait. Home with Mark Spencer holding the free fly. Okay, so there's a little gap here. Right. Holding the, it's a little like in the, I wanna tighten that up, so I'm gonna just make a selection here. There, so I'm gonna make a selection, tighten it up. Mark Spencer holding the free fly movie. See? Great. So now yeah. I can go ahead and get rid of this junk at the end. And there's some really great processing features in Twisted Wave. I'm going to go ahead and make a selection. Tap this little gear. And notice there's a normalize. This is a fantastic feature. If you recorded your levels a little bit lower, you can raise them without distorting it. Yeah. You just have to set your normalization level, which you can do with this slider. I typically set this to around minus three, minus four. Tap apply. And instantly you have... Ah, uh, nice really good level, forms, really yeah. nice waveforms. Welcome to MacBreak Studio, the Prescott edition. I'm here at my home with Mark Spencer. Okay, <laughs> so there he is, right? Sounds very dramatic. Yeah, yeah. very, very <laughs> dramatic. So it's really easy and fun yeah. to edit with in yeah, the field. You have your iPad, you're sitting out in the backyard, you're nice. home, you're in a plane, whatever, and you're just editing away. Yeah. And uh, again, I love it because I don't have to have my laptop with me. It's just, yep. it's. It's just fantastic. Excellent. Okay, now, I know what your next question is. How, how do you get it out? How do I get it out of here? Well, there's a little share button. You just tap up here, and you can set the format here. There's different formats. Look at all these formats. Wave, AF, F, C, A, F, A, A, C. They're all of them there. And uh, for the Pro Edition, there's a yes. Pro version, yeah. and there's a Lite version. The Pro Edition's 80 bucks. That's one of the features of the Pro, more file okay. types to more. export to, right? But you get the basic file formats that you usually use in the Lite Edition. Yes, yes. A, I, F, F. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, down here, notice, here's all the ways you can share it. Send to iTunes file sharing, send a mail, mail a link, send a message, FTP, Dropbox. There's a lot of options yeah. there. So what I like is sending to iTunes file sharing. And the reason is when I connect this to my Mac or I'm, you know, when I'm near my Mac via uh, Wi-Fi, I can just open up iTunes, see the file, and just drag it right to my desktop. Nice. And, and, then, nice. I'm, and then I bring it right into Final Cut yeah. Pro. It works Fantastic. really, really well. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Very, very cool. Awesome. So the iRig and oh, Twisted Wave. iRig and Twisted Wave. Very good. We'll have links uh, down below. Uh, um, yeah, down below, and you can All check right. those out if you want. Awesome. Thank you, Steve. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you next time on MacRig Studio.